Welcome back YouTube. Today I'm just going to be giving you a quick little review on the Everslock gun bag. Um, this is the gunslinger bag and you can pick this up from Amazon. Um, this is like one of my favorite bags and one of my only bags I actually picked up. Um, today I'm, I'm basically just going to be showcasing um, the size of the bag and um, what you can actually fit in there. Um, today I have my... Um, this is my... Um, Jesus Christ, it's been so long. This, this is my, um, I think this is the Maverick 88. This is my Maverick 88. Um, this is my Ruger American 308 Winchester. Um, then this is my, um, uh, my Ruger, um, um, 1022 right there. Um, basically I'm just going to be showing you how exactly I can get my guns into this bag. And yeah, here we go. Um, first we're going to be starting off with the the um, Maverick 88 and just see how it actually fits in a bag. But before we actually start that, um, um bear with me because I'm doing this on my, my phone and yeah, I'm just doing, doing this on my phone. But um, anyways, we're going to just open up the bag and just see like the dimensions and everything of the pockets. As you can see, this bag has lots of pockets. So, um, so we're going to start with the top one up here and you can see it zips right up and it's kind of hard, you know, I don't, it actually has these nice straps too. I just wanted to, they're really well done. Like the stitching on this bag is really, really well. Um, so you see you got a um, little compartment here. You could put some Molly straps in here. And, um, it's a decently sized um, little com front compartment. You know, you could let me just see if shove something in there real quick. You know, it could, could fit a couple things in there, you know. Just ready bowl, like so like a med pack or something like that. You could put in there. Um, yeah. Then let's look, open it up. Well, before we actually open up, let's show you these. Um, we got these other pockets right here that you can you can use. This one actually goes really deep down. I don't know if you can tell, but it goes almost all the way down, like to the end of the bag almost. Just about, it's like right, it's right there. And yeah, then you got these um down here. You got two um places you can put your water bottles, and they do come with um, they do come with the straps down here, and some molly, some molly straps you can put the side. So you, this is full, this is adjustable. So um yeah, this is this is full, totally adjustable. And on my other side, I got my um, I actually had a water bottle canteen in here. I just been, it's just been sitting in here for a while now. Um yeah. And then if we go open to this um to this pocket right here, um it's really dark in my room. Um but this pocket, this this bag, I'll tell you one thing about this bag. The inside, like the inside, the actual inside of here, it goes it's pretty it's deep. It's deep, but it doesn't have that much um that much space for like for instance, um, you can get like you can probably get a, a little sleeping bag, like a couple pairs of clothes in here, and like a couple things, like a couple rounds of ammunition in here. You can you can actually hold it in here, but it's not a it's not a big pocket. It's this is more of like a, I would say this is like a seventy two hour bag, honestly. This is like a seventy two hour. I I wouldn't say this is something that you could use this as an extended um extended trip like bag but I wouldn't really recommend it. I think this is like a more like a three day backpack. Um, if you go hike or anything like that. But yeah, like the pockets in like the main, this front main pocket right here, it's really not that big. And I think the, the reason why, because if we, um, if we go over to the back side and the actual part where the, the um, your rifles can go, um, I, that actually takes the majority of the, um, the space up. So um, let's go ahead and, um, show you um how the bag actually opens up so yeah this is the front and from down here you're gonna go from the, um the bottom this um actually straps up together but and then it's snug tucks in like right under here and you got some little straps that you can um you can replace these straps if you want to if you feel like they're not strong enough but i don't i feel like they're they're really good these are real this this bag has a lot of quality in it and i i i love that about this bag um yeah you can see that you just unstrap it just goes in really easy you know, just flap it around you know you know all right so um this part actually comes down and it has like a nice um it's like i wouldn't follow it's like a rubbery gore-tex material 
and I guess that's gonna protect the um the tip of your rifles. Um, and it also has um I don't know if you could really see yeah you could see it. it has like a drain point. So if the bag was getting wet, if it was submerged in water, it does have an access point, so it will be able to drain out faster from down here. And um, okay. Oh, one more thing before we actually start putting the rifles in the bag. Um, this backpack, um, it's like all the straps are fully, like everything on this bag is fully adjustable. Um, I'll do another video just showing like the adjustability of the bag, but it's really adjustable. And the padding on this bag is really, really good. Like it's, it's a nice padded mesh. Uh, it, it, I have, uh, it's, it's just really nice bag. And, um, the back, the back side, it's, it's not the size. It's, it's a little bit hard. Like besides from the padding, like underneath, because it's supporting the gun, um, with the rifle, and also yeah, this 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 um, if you guys, you bigger guys, I'm 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 not that big, but this is pretty good for me. So it's like adjustable was, yeah. Then you got um, you got your front little um, snaps up here, and yeah, like I said, everything's adjustable. So like, you can really fine tune this bag for you. And it'll be like a lot more comfortable than what it is just coming out the package. All right, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Let's um, let's start off with the Maverick 88, and let's see how that actually fits in the bag. I'm um, just gonna close it up a little bit here. Just close the front part. Yeah. Oh, and that that part that um that you let loose to bring this out of here. Um, like once you let that, once you let this out, this part out right here. Um, this part just, just snaps right onto this part. Yeah, bear with me now because I'm doing this with one hand, you know, so it might not be the best, but yeah, bear with me. Yeah, so first we're gonna put in the Maverick 88. You see, I got my little my Raptor grip on here. I love this baby. Um, yeah, it just from the bag, the the bag is not that big of a bag, and the gun this this Maverick 88 does not stick out at all from this bag. So you can um, see, I'm gonna slide it, slide it on in. And the, yeah, as you can see, it's just fully submerged in this bag. It's like really awesome. So just imagine if you're going out camping or hunting or even a shit hits the fan scenario. Um, this is a really nice bag. Like this is like, I say this is like a nice entry level bag right here. Like if you're trying to get into to prepping or whatever, readiness, preparedness, whatever. This is a nice entry level bag right here, I feel like. Um, yeah, see the Maverick 88, it um, fits nicely in there. And I will say in the inside too, it's really padded really well in here. It's hard to um, really show, but um, it's also a nice Gore-Tex material inside of here. Um, yeah, and like I said, my gun just, it slides, slides in and out. It's not, it's not really, it's, it's in there, it's snug, like when it's down in the bag, like down, down all the way at the bottom, um, it fits snug right down here, you can see the barrel, the barrel tip is nicely protected down there, the, um, yeah, man, you can, it's pretty nice, but, um, let's go on over to, let's take the Maverick 88 out, and let's, just, um, let's put in the, um, Ruger 1022. We're gonna put in the 1022. This one um, has a stock on it. Um, um, the stock it's still gonna fit um, nice and snug in this bag. It's actually gonna fit a lot snugger than the Maverick 88 because it does have the um, the scope and it's a lot bigger gun, so it's gonna fit in here a lot snugger. So let's um let's just give it a let's slide it on in. Let's slide it on in. Get you in there. Yeah, sorry again. I'm just doing this with one hand. And yeah, let me try to um, put this up somewhere so you can. I know my room is kind of dirty. You know, you don't got to worry about that. Yeah. Okay. So you just slide it on in. And I'm just coming home from work too. Yeah. But I just had to make this video. Yeah. So anyway, that is the, um, that is the Ruger. Um, 1022 right here. It, it actually this it actually sticks out the bag a little bit, but you can um, order a, a top. So like, it's not that bad. Like it's not that bad. Like, 
it's not like, oh, people are just going to automatically just pull it. Like, oh, this guy got a gun in his bag, but it's not really noticeable. But you can get, they have, um, I'll, I'll give a link into the description, but they have, um, products that you can, um, attach to this top. And it's like a cover, it's like a rain cover, poncho type of deal. And you can just put it on the top of here and, um, it basically hides the, um, the gun stock. Yeah. And as you can see, that's, this is the, um, the Ruger, um, I don't know if you can get a good view of it. This is the Ruger um, 1022 in here in this, the Eversoft bag, Gunslinger. Yeah, it's, it fits pretty snug. Like I said, it's really snug in there. Even with the scope, it, um, it fits really nicely. It's not not moving around. It doesn't move around. It doesn't really, it doesn't move around. It moves around, but it doesn't move around. And um, yeah, just nice. That's the 1022. And um, now we're gonna go over to my big boy. And we're gonna go over to my Ruger American. And, um, yeah, this is my biggest gun. I don't have a scope on it yet. Um, now I'm, I have, I need to figure out how, I want to, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if it's going to fit properly in here. Okay, it's a longer gun, you know, it's a longer gun. And it's a little bit bigger. So let's, um, let's try to put it in real quick. See how it fits. All right. Ruger American um, 308, and this one you can said you can tell the difference now. You can tell the difference. Um, it sticks out a lot. Now this is this is my biggest rifle, and um, if you guys fit in like ARs or anything type of things in here, it, it won't. I don't. That's, I don't even think an AR will fit in here unless you like you um, took it apart. But yeah, you can see that <clears throat> you will be wanting. Like more likely, you would want to buy the um. Like if you plan on going hiking or camping or something like that, you would probably want the um, the piece that goes up on, on the back side the cover. The, um, it's like a poncho, or whatever. Like, yeah, like I said, I'll put the link in the description. But you probably might want that um that cover to um just cover up your stock a little bit, so it just won't be so, it's just so open. You know what I mean? You just keep a low profile. You know what I mean? And just yeah, basically this is my um quick little review of the Eversoft gun bag um. If you like the video, um, please give me a like and um, check out that link in the description for the bag. It'll be in the description. You can check it out on Amazon. It's actually really fairly priced. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and kudos.